Hey guys, Barbara here. Today we're going to be making this cheesy spaghetti with vegetables. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. I'm going to be using some thigh meat and the thigh has the bone in it okay I've washed it with distilled white vinegar and now I'm just adding salt and black pepper and of course some cayenne you're going to add whatever spice you like okay now let me show you what I use for color some of our Belizean powder ricardo and it's not ricardo okay it's not a boy's name it's ricardo and then some garlic powder and then just let me go ahead and work this in well I'm doing kind of like a rub see it's pretty simple now over to the stove, this is about three tablespoons of olive oil in a pot. Put the pieces in. I'm just gonna allow them to brown on both sides before adding water. Not enough to make soup, but just enough for them to boil. And then now to this pot of boiling water, I'm just gonna add some salt because I wanna cook my pasta. And I'm just gonna use regular spaghetti, the whole box, not the whole grain stuff, okay, just regular. Let me check on it, it's going. The chicken is done. It took about 40 minutes for these thighs to cook up nicely. Now I'm going to use Velveeta cheese as a part of the cheese for this dish. Eight ounces, okay. I very seldom use Velveeta cheese because you guys know it's not real cheese, right? So um, dice it up like this. Eight minutes later, the pasta is done. And drain it and wash it off, okay. Now let me go ahead and pick the um, thigh meat from the bone. Put it back into the same pot that's not been washed. Put the cheese in and then some spinach. Now let me grab some uh, broccoli florets try to say that fast broccoli florets and then that's frozen okay so now uh the pasta and it's hot still piping hot let it steep for like 16 um, not 16 six minutes and then now dump it into a 9 by 13 pan this one's not greased but you can grease yours no problem with that get all the pieces in and then now look at what i do American cheese slices. I got this from my sister. She just gave me a big old bag of this, so I figured I could make something with it. Thank you so much for the donation to the show, Tracy. Her YouTube channel is called My Life on the Hill. Please go and check it out. She does cakes and a lot of wonderful arts and crafts. So cover it up with some tin foil or aluminum foil. Tent it, okay? You don't want all the cheese to come off on your foil. And then into the oven it goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until all the cheeses have melted. So however long that takes is how hot your stove gets. Now it's going to be kind of hard to serve because it's uh, spaghetti pasta. So just kind of chop into it. And I am so enjoying the slow motion uh, effect in this editing program for you guys. Take a look. Mm, 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 mm. Isn't this wonderful? Beautiful. It smells so delicious. And I really and truly love broccoli. I'm one of those people that loves broccoli. Okay. I don't just like eat it because it's healthy. I really love it. <laughs> So let me go ahead and clean up the edge of my plate right here because I want to do my thumbnail. Look, see, chocked full of wonderful, wonderful things that's good for you. So that was pretty simple, right? Just remember, don't overcook the noodles when you're boiling them on top of the stove because you do have to bake the dish, okay? So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, and for everything that you do to support me. Until I see you guys again, take care. Don't forget to check out the online store at my website, thebearpantryshow.com or bearpantryshow.com, where you can pick up a copy of any of the books and Joe's unique utensil art.